All right, now that we've got everything color corrected, I'm going to go ahead and do some color grading and add some color, add, add a specific uh, color or feel to my footage. So I'm going to, I'm going to kind of, this is where you get to become the artist and add some color, add some feel to your, your image. So it's not just like perfectly red, blue, whatever. We're going to actually give it a little bit of a tone. <coughs> Whether it's um, increase the contrast, uh, lean more towards one color or another. Um, so you'll see that a lot in different types of genres. For instance, a World War II or a World War I film might lean more towards your greens. Actually, World War I would lean more towards your greens and uh, tans. World War II is also less uh, desaturated, you know, it's less saturated or desaturated a bit more. Um, you might have some greens and more, more browns and tan tones to that. Versus something that might be very sci-fi, that's very uh, blues, or if you think about the Matrix, it's very green, right? Um, so those are all ways of color grading or adding an effect or a feel to your footage. Um, so we've started with color correction, and we're going to add a couple layers of color grading. Now, I like to layer this up, and of course, the more layers you add, the more... Um, intensive this is going to be on your system. So keep that in mind. Um, so what I'm going to do is actually come down and I'm going to create a new adjustment layer. Okay, and that's what I've done here. I've created an adjustment layer and um, I've applied that. Just like we use adjustment layers in Photoshop, um, I've used adjustment layers to, um, to kind of work with my work, work with my, uh, my color uh, in, in Premiere. Okay, so let's take a look. So you've got my adjustment layer here. There's my Lumetri color. Let's take a look at what I did. So starting from the top, I brought the exposure up on this particular layer a little bit. So it's bringing the exposure up a little. Um, I have sharpened it a, a, a hair, brought the vibrance down, and the saturation remained the same. I adjusted the tint and the shadow tint and the highlight tint slightly. You can see the shadow tint is definitely up and to the left, more on the oranges, while the highlight tint is more down a little bit, more towards the, the cyan color. And I've leaned my tint balance a little bit more towards the oranges. Let's take a look at what I did with the curves. All right, so I didn't do anything down here, but up here, I took my luminance curve and I brought, I have a slight or an elongated S curve going on here. So I brought the, the luminance up in, in the higher ranges while I brought it down in the darker tones in our shadows. So what it's going to do is it's going to give it a more, a much more contrast between my, my, my lights, my highlights and my, and my low lights. Color wheels, nothing's changed there. HSL, nothing has changed in that either. Vignette, I did add a little bit of vignette. It's very slight, 0.4 negative, um, and a feather of 53.2, so it's very soft. Very soft. And again, this adjustment layer is going over my entire, my entire project here. And now I'm going to go ahead and turn this on. Let's see what we've got. There we go. Okay, so you can see how much more of a contrast we've got going on just within this tower. All right, so it's definitely more intense. Now, I've got another adjustment layer on top. Let's, again, let's take a look at this one. It's not doing anything here. And I've decided to break this up because if I don't like this and I want to stick with this other one, I could just easily remove this adjustment layer, hide it, whatever I want, and get rid of it. Now this layer is actually fading my footage. So it's going to give it a, a faded film effect. Okay, that's why I brought that up a little bit. So it's not so black. Blacks aren't going to be so black. It's going to be more of a washed out tone to it. Curves, I didn't really do anything with the curves. Left that alone. Nothing with HSL secondary. So all this is really doing is just giving it that faded effect. That's it. And um, oh, actually, the tint 
is also just a little bit more. So I brought a little bit more blue into the highlights, pushed it a little bit more towards the red, very slightly. Um, and the tint balance is the same in the center. So that hasn't changed. So let's turn that on and see what that looks like. All right. <clears throat> so one thing I know for sure is I don't like this highlight tint. I'm going to get rid of that. I'm just going to double click it, get rid of that. And now we're a little bit more on the red side. So I might click that shadow tint, get rid of that, set that back to normal. So all, all this is doing now should be <laughs> just fading my my uh, my scene a bit. Yeah. There we go. Not bad. Let's take a look here again. Yeah. The change is so slight. I probably could get away without it. Um, I think I'm just going to delete it simply for the processing power. I'm going to get rid of that. I'm just going to stick with what we've got going on here. All right. So once I've done this, now I've, I've corrected my footage. I've graded my footage, giving it a nice, uh, really, a, a really cool cinematic feel to this. And now I'm ready to encode it. So once you've done your edits, your final edit, you're ready to move on to your color correction. You're going to color correct your footage. And then you're going to move on to color grading, where you're going to give it that look that you want for the film. And then from there, you're going to go ahead and export it out. Okay?